Hello everyone, this is Klausius and I'm back with another beginner Go problem video. And in this section, we are going to talk about finishing territory. So uh, the comments go ahead and say, uh, I know many beginners jump into the games very quickly, but what if I told you that a common mistake that beginners make was they don't finish the game. In these examples, we will look at how to finish your territory before passing. So this is a very important thing that many beginners uh, have the mistake of making is they don't actually understand when the game is finished. And I think that's pretty important if you're going to start playing a Go game is to understand where, wh what territory is finished and what territory isn't and where the borders are. So let's go ahead and look. We'll play A and move on. All right. So in this example, we can see that the game is almost done. Both players have secured their areas, but black's bottom right corner position is unfinished because white can walk in at A. So we need to finish the territory by playing at A because white can actually walk in and this area is not completely surrounded by a single color. There we go. So here we see that black has blocked white from walking into the territory. Uh, these are the shapes you need to know to pretty much finish the game, is these first line things. All right, so black to finish the territory. So remember, at any time, you can pause the video and try to solve these in a row. But go ahead and try to find all the uh, territorial areas and see what is unfinished and see if you can find where black needs to play to finish the territory. <clears throat> the answer is actually here. Once we play here, white is blocked and we're good to go. Uh, this is not a cut because if you do, it's a self Atari and I can just capture. All right, black to finish the territory. The answer is here. This is where the territory is unfinished. All right, black to finish the territory. The answer is here. All right, black to finish the territory. Answer is here. <laughs> black to finish the territory. Here. Black to finish the territory. So on this one, many uh, players or many beginners might think that I need to finish the territory here, but actually it is here because you can capture a stone. So it still blocks white from coming in, but it also captures a stone, so this is the better move. <clears throat> All right, black to finish the territory. The answer is here. Black to finish his territory. So this is a local problem, so don't worry about the rest of the board. Just look at the local, the, the, this is just a local example. All right, so the answer actually is here, because you want to block. So yes, there is a white stone in this area, but this is really important, is that the white stones inside of your area will eventually be captured, as long as you don't make a mistake. So you still want to block your territory, and here white can actually not cut the stone off because it's a self Atari and you would just capture. So when you are actually playing the game, you would want to block your territory like this, even if there's some stones inside, because eventually they would be removed from the board and this is still your territory. Whereas if you try to go here and then capture, then you lose a couple points. All right, black to finish the territory. The answer is here. Is it good to capture that stone? All right, and that is it for section seven, which is uh, finishing territory. And section eight, we are going to talk about cut, uh, cutting your opponent off. So section eight will pretty much be the last section of these beginner go problem videos. Uh, at least for now, that's all the problems I've uh, have created. <laughs> Uh, so the section eight will be the last video, but uh, hopefully you guys are finding this series helpful. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.